So as we've talked before, the this is the emitter follower circuit. And just a reminder, just because we're going to start this and we're going to bury this circuit a little bit to build an amplifying circuit. We have a bias, correctly biased transistor, so there's a collector voltage VCC giving us a voltage VC equals VCC on the collector. A base voltage, the collector voltage is greater than the base voltage, so the diode that is apparently inside of here is reverse biased. This diode is forward biased, so the base voltage is greater than the emitter voltage, and you get a diode drop across here. So the emitter voltage DC level is the base minus one diode drop, 0.65 volts. And if we put an AC signal VB in here, the AC signal VE that comes out of here is simply a copy of that. So we get a copy of that there. And the last thing to remember is that the current flowing through this emitter resistor here is VE plus VE over that resistor. And that is approximately the current flowing into the collector. Remember, the base current is about 1% of that. So most of the current is here. So the emitter current and the collector current are both given approximately by that. OK. What we're going to do now is we're going to vary this a little bit. We're going to add a resistor between the power supply and the collector. We'll call it RC. And we're going to take the output at the collector. So there will be a V collector and presumably an AC signal. And presumably the collector voltage is no longer going to be a copy of VCC. So we won't be doing anything with the emitter anymore. We'll be looking at the collector. And we can simply write down here the collector voltage is whatever current is flowing through that resistor times that resistor is the voltage drop. So the DC collector current has to be VCC minus IC RC. Okay, so that's the DC level there. So this is lower than the collector voltage by whatever the current flowing through there is. And to keep the transistor biased, this collector voltage still has to be bigger than the base voltage that would bias. So that's nice there, that biases this. And we still have the same relation. Whatever we set the base voltage, the emitter voltage is 0.65 volts below that. We can obviously extend that if we put an AC signal in here. There's going to be an AC signal here. Presumably there's an AC signal here. So the VC plus the AC signal is going to still be that DC level minus the DC current. And now we're going to also get the AC current subtracting from that, OK? So we get something exactly like that. Now, that current here, I just should have written this actually as IE plus IE is VE over RE plus little VE over RE. So there's the DC current, VE over RE. There's the AC current, little VE over RE. And I can now do a couple of things. I can separate this into the DC parts. So that, that, and that are all DC. And that and that are AC. Okay. So I have the DC gives me exactly the same relationship I had before. And the AC now gives me VC is minus IC RC. OK, that's nice there. Now, the collector current is pretty much equal to the emitter current. So I could replace the collector current with the emitter current. So I could actually write this, VC is minus IE RC. And then I can put in what that is in terms of the AC voltages. VC is going to be minus RC over RE times VE. OK, so that now gives me a relationship between the collector voltage and the emitter voltage. But the emitter voltage is still just a copy of the base voltage. So what we're going to get is that the collector voltage is the ratio of these resistors times the base voltage. 
So if we replace the emitter voltage with the base voltage, which is just a copy, then we get this relationship here that the collector voltage, AC part, is the ratio of RC to RE times the input voltage. And that just says the gain is the ratio of the output to the input, or minus RC over RE. So if we choose RC to be bigger than RE, the output AC signal will be bigger than the input AC. We get an amplification. So if we chose this 10 times bigger than this, we'd have an amplification of 10. The minus sign just tells us that the trig function on the output is inverted from the trig function on the input. If we have a plus sign going in, we have a minus sign wave coming out. So that is the basic picture here of the common emitter amplifier. It's a circuit, extra resistor. We take the output on the collector, and the output AC signal is an amplified and inverted copy of the input signal.